Hey everyone, this is Andy, and today I'm going to show you something really exciting: how to use AI to automate and enhance your e-commerce or dropshipping business. Specifically, we're going to scrap clothing product images from AliExpress and use AI models to generate virtual try-ons. This means you don't have to hire real models, saving you thousands of dollars while testing product market fit. If you are into AI automation or making money online, let's dive in. And at the end of this video, I will share with you how you can get the free template. All right, so let's get started. Um, there are many two workflows. The first one is to scrap the clothing product images from AliExpress, and then the second one is to apply the AI to try on the clothes. So basically, the second one is that we we put on the clothes to the AI model. Um, so let's talk about the first workflow first. Uh, for the trigger, um, as demo purpose, we just use uh, this when clicking test workflow. You can choose um, other trigger, for example, um, schedule trigger. Um, for example, we can schedule, uh, we can do it once per day or once per hour. Just um, you can choose your own interval. And then for this note, uh, we can choose HTTP request to make an HTTP request and it returns the response data. Um, basically, this is the crawler that we are going to use. We use Apify. All right. Um, we can go to apify.com and then uh, we can search for AliExpress. All right. Uh, and there are many different uh, scrappers. Uh, the one that we're, we are using, uh, I've put it here as well. This is the actor that we are going to use simple aliexpress scrapper um, you can have a free trial uh, for uh, two hours um, after that uh, you can pay for um, 20 dollars per month to scrap all right um, and we at uh, this uh, basically you can do it um, on their website as well and then you can download the uh, google spreadsheet or uh, i mean excel or csv uh, but for demo purpose, uh, we're going to use the API to, to crawl the relevant images. All right. And um, we use post method here. Um, this is the URL that you can copy and paste. Um, it's referring to uh, the, the specific actor that we're going to use, which is this one. All right. Um, so the this is the actor ID. Uh, it's the same here. And this one is the same as the um, ID here. All right. Um, so basically, you can just copy and paste your own uh, preferred actor. This is the actor that I chose, um, so that you can just copy and paste. And then uh, for authentication, which is none, um, we enabled this uh, send query parameters, and we're using fields below to specify the query parameters. Uh, the token here, it, it means the API uh, token. So we, basically, we can go to um, API integrations, and we, you can just copy and paste your own uh, API tokens here, and then you can just paste it here. All right, and um, after that, you can. Um, you, we don't need to enable the send headers. We just need to enable the send body, and then choose uh, JSON as the body content type. Uh, specify body using JSON, and um, we can copy and paste this. Basically, um, just keywords. For example, um, we chose long sleeve um, tees. So um, these are the uh, relevant um, images that are fit into this um, this keyword. So maximum item, we choose 10. And um, proxy use, uh, AP5 proxy, we choose true. AP5 proxy groups, residential. AP5 proxy country, US. And you can change the um, numbers uh, here. You can choose um, 100 or even more. All right. So, um, and then for the second note, um, it's basically it's a wait time note uh, after in time interval. Uh, it is uh, set here uh, to prevent um, uh, the crawler went too fast that it crashed without us knowing so we just input this uh, wait no for him so uh, three seconds or 30 seconds uh, it depends on your uh, uh, preference as well and then for this note uh, we choose uh, it is a status poly again you can just copy and paste this is the act id and then um, we you can just copy uh, drag and drop this um, json data id here all right 
this is the ID basically. And get method, uh, none for authentication, and basically uh, it's just the same. And we will have to note uh, for if. Basically for this one, if it is succeeded, um, then it will proceed. If not, it will keep looping. All right. So the JSON data series basically is here. It is drag and drop here. All right. After the crawling is finished, um, we will have another node. So we add another HTTP request node, and then we rename it as get result. We use get method. Um, you can use the same URL. We can just uh, drag and drop um, this default dataset ID drag it here, and then slash items. All right. Uh, none for authentication. And you can see on the right hand side, these are the outputs. You will have the image URL, uh, product code, product title, original price, price, sold, tag, uh, text, product URL, store ID, store name, uh, store URL, etc. Okay. All right. For this node, um, we use uh, edit fields, this one. And then uh, we will input here. Uh, menu mapping as a mode for the product code we choose uh, colon pd uh, and then we add the json product code here this one is product code and the reason why we need to do this is because uh, if we just input this um, uh, chain of numbers uh, excel may not be able to recognize it so we need to turn it into a string so that we can um, input um to the google spreadsheet without any error all right and then we uh, enable include other input fields and then uh, for input fields to include we choose all here and last but not least uh, this is just the uh, google sheets note uh, we can just search it here sheets and um, basically we can connect with uh, your own google sheet account it's very easy just sign in with your um, Google Sheets account. Just, I mean, just sign up with your Google account, and then you can use this uh, OAuth API for the Google Sheets. For resource, we choose Sheet uh, within Document. Uh, operation, we choose uh, Append Row. For Document, you can just connect with your own uh, preferred Google Spreadsheets, and then uh, the own your own uh, sheets that you preferred. So we have the Sheet one here, and we choose Mapping auto uh, Column Mode automatically, and that's how it works. Everything is mapped automatically. Okay, so that's the first part for the first workflow. And the first part is for getting um, from column A to column L. All right. And then for column B, um, because originally we, we don't have any uh, image here uh, because it's just a URL for the image. So we can in, in go. Um, spreadsheet we can add uh, equals to the image and then bracket to a2 uh, we can see the image here all right um, just a small um, tactic here okay so uh, I will talk about the second workflow now all right for the second workflow the purpose uh, for it is to get the AI model to wear the clothes as you can see, um, this air model is wearing this clothes, and this one is wearing this, and this is wearing this. So how we can do this? So it is the purpose for this second workflow, applying the AI to try on the clothes. The first note is to set the limit here. Um, it's just for demo purpose because um, we, are, we are trying to make sure that um, how many images we are going to produce so that we choose um, five here so we can um, basically choose 50 or um, any numbers you want or even the even you don't need this limit as well so it's just for us to make sure that we are outputting a specific number of uh, outputs here all right and this is a key part um, the trial API basically we are using this um, fell AI and then we use uh, this colors for to try on so we can search fell um, AI colors for trial model gallery yeah and then we can search for virtual try on all right yeah 
so basically uh, you can choose your own um, preferred model uh, but this is the one that um, uh, we choose for demo purpose uh, the claim v15 um, colors virtual try on basically is how it works so it's like uh, human image url is the uh, model and then um, for this garment image is the clothing you would like the ai to try it on um, so for for the model i suggest that you can choose um the model that you would like to showcase for example if you would like to showcase um the clothing for um, upper body so you will need a model to show um like a proper uh, posture for the upper body if you would like to demonstrate like for some like trousers or pants and then you would like to have a model to showcase the uh, legs as well so um just some tactics and okay so let's talk about this node first um we use http requests again similar to previous nodes we choose post method here all right you can just copy and paste this uh, url q.fail uh, run fail ai and this is the url we choose um, you can just copy and paste and basically um, we use uh, gen generic credential type we use header auth and you can set up your own header auth here again so authorization and then paste your api key so you can get your own api key of fail ai as well you can just go to fail and, and copy and paste the api key and and paste it here all right so again we are using header auth here okay for the credential setup and we enabled um, the sent body here and we use json as a body content type a specified body we're using json and we click expression and let's take a look so human uh, image url basically we are using this one so this one is our model as you can see this one uh, is the model we use all right and then garment uh, image url we can just uh, drag and drop the image you're here here this is the same image as we saw here all right okay so let's go to the next note um, again we put weight here um, to prevent from freshing without uh, us noting um, so you can choose your own waiting time as well and basically this one is for checking the status um it's another http request node we use get method for the url we just drag and drop the status url this one here all right and authentication of course generic credential type head auth um, the file ai um, head auth basically it's the same settings as the previous um, um, file ai one and then we will see the output on the right hand side all right and we added if note here um, because if it is not complete um, we will uh, need the workflow to keep looping and keep uh, keep executing so we just, just drag and drop this status here and make sure if it is equal to completed then we can stop to proceed to the next uh, stage which is to try on and get the result we just get method here and for url we can drag and drop this response url all right basically um all right and then again same setting uh, generic credentials type uh, head auth uh, your fail ai account and um when we drag this we'll output this okay so this one is the input and put on the right uh, left hand side and then right output on the right hand side basically this url this one is the same as here all right for the last note um we will just update the google sheets um so again connect with your own credential um the resource we choose sheet within document operation which is update row and choose your own document and sheet um we map each column manually and column to match on product code 
uh, product code is this one, this column. And then we will have the generated in, uh, photo. Um, so we need to um, just drag and drop this here. And um, we will have this URLs updated. And how we can see the uh, images on Excel, again, we choose uh, equals to image, and then we can just refer to this image uh, URL, and then we can see the image on Google Sheet. Great, so basically it's a quick um, tutorial on how we can use um, AI for drop shipping. We can, um, how we can f do the photo try on and we can do the image scrapping from AliExpress as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you would like to get the free template, uh, please feel free to get it uh, from our free AI ND no code uh, community. And uh, see you there.